This is our seventh day in the hospital. When we first came, we were pretty nervous because, you know, a, a week of hospital food, it's it's COVID time right now. So there isn't a lot of going in and out of the hospital to find better stuff. And, you know, luckily they have a pretty big room service menu here and, and it's all it's all built in with a stay. Uh, of course it's hospital food, but it's it's not all bad. Some of it is, is actually pretty good, though, though some of it is not great either. Uh, but but I thought we'd put together a little something uh, for you to get a sense of what it is. Maybe if you're about to have a stay here, this this can help you choose what to what to order. Take a look. This is the guest, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Now the beef fajitas. I don't know if that actually looks very good. The meat isn't even brown. It's kind of like a light, light brownish gray. It's edible. The tortillas are, are pretty warm. I didn't expect that. I thought I'd get a cold tortilla. Let me make myself a fajita here. Oh, so the, the beef fajita comes with some, some packaged picante sauce. A little spicy. I'm probably supposed to put sour cream in it too, huh? Maybe. Now let's try it. Mm. With all the sauces, it's definitely a passable, passable fajita. Mm, I'm gonna dig into this chicken fried steak here. Take a nice big dip. Mmm. This is actually one of the best things I've had here. Mmm. I thought it was gonna be just, just warm and not that good, but it's hot. It's it's actually still crispy. The the gravy just. You know, it's it's white. It's it's as expected. Most chicken fried, most chicken fried steaks I ever have, they're you know, they're usually not good. They're they're dry. They're they're tough. But you know this one, this one is pretty good. The thing about broccoli, color makes such a big difference. I mean, you can see right here that these two are clearly from a different vintage. This one's going to be a lot softer. You know, maybe even a little gummy. You can see this one. It's it's not a lot brighter, but you know, it's it's a little bit brighter. I think this one's definitely gonna have a little more crunch to it. But you know, this is what you expect from a food tray with with broccoli. It is a little thicker than I would have guessed. And the Campbell stuff I like. I remember it was always a little bit kind of clear, and. I don't know, maybe this one has real cream and I'm just not used to that, huh? Mm. Boy. Hmm. Let me try another one. can't think of the right word. It, it's not really creamy. It's more like, it's kind of like glue. Maybe pasty, but but not with, you know, when, when I think pasty, I think, you know, maybe with a little grit in there, like, like flour, but it's really salty too. I think this is one of the worst dishes that I've had here at this hospital, which, which, which is a shame because, because a lot of the stuff has, has been, you know, pretty edible. Mm, not good. Do not order the cream of mushroom soup here. Check this out. The cream of mushroom soup, it looks just like the white gravy. You know, Monica's not here right now. Um, she's got a real job, like, like feeding the baby. So maybe we should try her soup instead. See how this one compares to the, the, the frankly not very good cream of mushroom. Mmm, 
nice sock noodles mm, chunks of dark meat in there I see some vegetables I don't know looks pretty good let's see how it tastes oh wow That's a big surprise. Mm. When they said low sodium, I didn't know it meant zero sodium, and, and that's what this tastes like. And and after eating that the super salty cream of mushroom soup, it, it was just the flavor that I I wasn't expecting. It tastes a little. Uh, I do get a little bit of the chicken flavor in there. You know, like if, if I think really hard, I, I do get that. Um, let's try it again. It's really thick. I can't tell if that's, I want to say it's from the collagen and, and long cooked chicken bones, but I'm going to guess that it's more, I don't know, maybe carrageenan or, or some kind of gum that I don't know about, but hmm. I'm, I'm also saying that the low sodium chicken noodle is, is also not a soup we should be ordering. I'm gonna save the rest of this for Monica because, because I don't wanna eat it. So this right here, you can see blue bunny vanilla ice cream. Um, you can see that, hey, look, the, the first couple ingredients, milk, cream, buttermilk, that, that's looking pretty good. And we should just stop reading there because after that it gets kind of funky. So this is one thing I really like to do. So we've got vanilla ice cream here, which can be turned into just about everything. And then I found these these Smucker's peanut butter packets in the in the break room. I didn't even know Smucker's made peanut butter packets. And then this is what else I got for for ladies with nausea graham crackers. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna crush this up and make a little peanut butter swirl for my ice cream. It's gonna be awesome. Just a little bit. You don't want to overwhelm. I didn't want to just put the peanut butter on top because I just didn't want a big glob of it. You know, I, I just wanted some thin little ribbons. So what I did is I took my graham cracker bag and put a spoonful in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut a little tip off of it like it's a pastry bag and we're gonna squirt it on top, make it look nice. All right, let's see how this works. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice fancy peanut butter ribbon. Mmm. Mmm. Peanut butter Sunday. Yeah. All right. Moment of truth. Let's let's see how this is. Mmm. Pretty good. like a sunday reminds me a little bit of the mcdonald's sundays that i used to really like though well, those always had nuts on them and and they didn't have peanut butter sauce but kind of reminds me of that hmm. i remember eating these in school too i think all of these meals are just just reminding me of elementary school middle school It's really sweet, but it's good. It's like yellow, yellow box cake mix, which which I really like. With with of course a little piece of pineapple on top and and a cherry. I like this. I, I wouldn't eat it too much. It's probably not good for you. It's one of the better desserts they have here. I'm really liking the ice cream. It's so versatile. So this time, I'm going to make a cookie ice cream sandwich with it. I ordered two cookies. I, I think I actually could have ordered two cookies, but I said one was for me and one was for Monica. So I didn't seem like a pig, but I'm just going to take it. Hmm. Not the melty part. I need the solid part. Mm. Mm. 
pretty nice in there. These cookies aren't that soft, so when I eat it, it might all squirt out the other side, but I'm gonna give it a try. I think it'll be pretty good. Mmm, <laughs> look at that. Mmm, let's see. Mmm, mmm, really good. Mm. Definitely loaded with sugar. Gonna just oh, gonna have to start working out and and definitely, ice cream was just too soft. It just got all squeezed out of there. But mm. I'm probably just gonna have to pretend like it's butter and just. Mm. Mm. But this is a dessert. This is a dessert I can get behind. I hope you got some good tips out of this. Some of my favorites were the definitely the fried fish that was good. Uh, the the pizza is not, you know, it's really not bad, and hmm, even the pot roast was not bad. Uh, a lot of it is really not as bad as as you'd think, as long as you have your your expectations set properly. Uh, the vanilla ice cream is pretty cool. Got to eat that a couple of different ways, but after a couple. After eating that several times, it just got too sweet, so I just stopped ordering dessert altogether. Uh, didn't have time in the video to film every single little thing that we tried, but if you take a look at the show notes below, uh, I'm going to write out everything and, and give it a grade so you, can, so you can know how to order here. Hope this helps. Bye.